A developing story for you this morning. Tucson police are making a new effort to connect with people in our community. They've recently started a project souping up a lowrider police car. I met up with officers at a recent car show to see how this car is bridging the gap and making a difference. The vehicle is a tool for communication and to building relationships. So that's why we're building the car. This project has been three years in the making, ever since Tucson Police Sergeant William Corrales says some fans came to them with the idea. They said that it'd be a great community engagement vehicle, and also there's a population in the community that we could have access to. A handful of officers in the department took an old cruiser, and with the help of several local partners, they started making some upgrades, starting with donated wheels. The car also just got hydraulics installed. Check this out. Funny to think of how far they've come because lowriders first started using hydraulics in the 50s to trick police into thinking they were legal height. Now the car is getting new upholstery and soon high school students will get involved, solidifying its style. The paint job is going to be very special. Uh, it's going to be people from Tucson, the community, that are going to be painting the car. Sergeant Corrales says because these cars have such deep roots in the southwest, police want it to feel like our community's car. This is art work. This is mostly the Hispanic uh, community, uh, very rich in tradition. A lot of families have lowriders throughout generations. It's also very artistic. And this is why it's so important that we get family feedback, community feedback. But the car is about more than just looking cool. It's also giving police a reason to connect with more people. Um, one of the things that we're learning about the, because we cruise down the street to, uh, you know, some parks in our community. And there's a, a group of community members that usually would not talk to us but this now that they see the car they're interested they say well what is this and they come out they come talk to us and we start building relationships i have a low rider you have a low rider and it's just a communication tool and we get to know each other and uh, it's been outstanding it's been very successful several local car show groups are now coming together as an alliance to help raise money for the low rider project through a series of car shows the president of the obsessions car club robert de gregorio says they just want to support a great effort of police outreach and maybe change the way people feel about their passion there's two separate sides to the car scene in tucson um, there's the legitimate car scene that that goes out and has fun and does it legally and and does all the things that they're supposed to do, and then there's a side that does things that they're not supposed to do. So we want to show police that there is a, 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 a law-abiding side to the car scene. That's a mutual feeling as police use the lowrider to bridge the community. It's something that the Tucson community could be very proud of. So right now the car is getting new interiors, but in a couple months it'll head to Sunnyside High School for the students to work on it. I'll check in with them when that happens, so watch for that. And if you're interested in going to see the car at more car shows that are happening soon, we'll share the details as soon as they are scheduled.